So there was a press release, we dug it up, from 2021. This is an announcement by the US State Department saying that they had made a determination to approve the possible sale of these missiles to the Australian government. So effectively, we got an announcement today about something that the US government signed off in the middle of the pandemic in 2021. Yes, uh, these weapon programs were funded in the 2016 Defence White Paper. This is just a rolling program by the Navy. In fact, it shouldn't really be called a Comroy press, press release. This is just the unaccountable defence bureaucracy doing what it does regardless of who's in government. What we really need are timelines, numbers, and what's the resupply arrangement when we run out, because you run out of these missiles fast. How good are you, Michael Shabridge? Nothing much gets past you. Everyone else who fell for the trap in the headlines today, we haven't done it here on Credland because you're here to inform us and keep them honest. Hey, I spoke to Neil Ferguson today. He wrote in the papers that Australia, the world actually, is asleep at the wheel. When I spoke to him after his ARC presentation this morning, he went further. He had this to say. Vladimir Putin said in July of 2021 that the Ukrainian-Russian people belonged together in an article that essentially promised the annexation of Ukraine. And we utterly failed to deter him from the invasion that happened the following February. Uh, right now, we know from very good intelligence sources that Xi Jinping has told the Chinese military to be ready for war in 2027. And I don't think that means there will be war in 2027, but I do think that it raises the probability that sometime this decade there's going to be a showdown. Well, I think that's pretty chilling. Do you think it's accurate, Michael? I do, Peter. I think we've got to start taking nasty authoritarian leaders at their word when they say things. Putin did say he was going to attack Ukraine. He did. A whole lot of people said he won't because we don't want him to. Mm. Xi Jinping is building his military for war and says so. And he's made it very clear, hasn't he? Very public that the, the date of uh, 2027 is exactly where he's looking to. And you look at his age too, Michael. Correct me if I'm wrong, he's early 70s now. He, he, you know, he's got a clock winding down on his own mortality. I agree. I think that the timeline for Chinese military aggression at Taiwan is tied to Xi's timeline, his personal clock. And mm. fortunately, he's not immortal. Unfortunately for that too. All right, Michael Shubich, thank you as mm. always.